possibility that an engine like this might even replace a, a diesel engine? Do you think that could happen? I, I believe right. in many parts of the market it will either replace or take a significant share of the market. The, the diesels will almost always remain ultimately the most fuel efficient engines. Yes. Uh, they're, they're combustion process is, is very very good. You will arrive but at your the, intermediate the destination the, on the left after two hundred very high pressure fuel injection meters. systems and increasingly the, the catalyst, the what we call the after treatment systems to keep yes. the diesels up to the latest emission levels your intermediate destination is becoming quite is located uh, significant on the cost penalty for them which means that the, the payback for the customer in terms of fuel saving gets longer and longer. Please so yes we, we think right. particularly in the, the sort of Fiesta Focus segment yeah. Uh, which is quite price sensitive that uh, the, the EcoBoost, the, the 1 litre or the 1.6 will take quite a share of the traditionally diesel market for customers who are looking for strong torque, uh, good fuel consumption and, uh, and fun to drive and, and good refinement. Well, you're a great car enthusiast um, in your collection. Uh, I recall you telling me you've got a, you have a Ferrari and you I have, have yes. also a very nice and a very intriguing uh, tractor. Um, what, what, what do you like about this engine as a driving enthusiast? What, what gets you most? I guess the, the note of the engine, which I hope to demonstrate very soon, is, would be one thing. It's got a deliciously sporty, quite quite a cheeky sound to it, hasn't it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, we we built some early concept cars when I, when I was working in Cologne right back in about 2001, 2002, before the, the real three-cylinder program got, got going. Uh, and that was one of the notable features. Everyone who drove the cars at that time said, we really like this sort of three-cylinder sort of growl. It's yeah. it's not quite the Porsche flat six, but it's got a nice little. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. just doing a demo there now. It's got a, uh, throaty sort of burble to it, which right is quite unexpected in some ways. Absolutely, I, I I like that. I, I like a nice sound quality in a car. Hence the the Ferrari. Uh, I like the fact that you can both rev it up. It's uh, we actually use the term internally. We call it rewarding to rev. Yes. Uh, so it's fun to run it up uh, through the gears and, and use the full rev rev range of it. But it does also give the sort of easy cruising, I guess maybe with advancing years, the, next the right. number of times you want to spend that sort of on the red line is, is reducing. It's, it's fun when you do do it occasionally, but it's also nice to be able to slot it into sixth gear and, and potter Absolutely. along as well. So uh, yeah, I, I, I like both characteristics. I, I'm not keen on engines which run out of puff at 4,000. Uh, and, and the sky, and the, and the remarkable thing about this engine, of course, is that the sky's the limit for power output. I mean, we're looking at uh, 91 kilowatts out of this engine at the moment. And it, you know, it, it, it feels incredibly Turn left zesty. after one hundred and fifty meters. But uh, you people are talking meters. about one hundred and thirty-two kilowatts out of this engine, which sounds absolutely amazing. Yeah, the the engine has Please been designed with next left. some significant future uh, expansion, not not in terms of capacity, but uh, output potential. Follow the, the road for three The iron block is very strong and, and will take higher output. We we've done a project in Britain with uh, Ricardo, the engineering consultancy, to see how far we can push the engine. And we, we had a, a Focus, actually, we still have got it, which is running around 150 horsepower. Uh, can't do that in kilowatts, it's just over 100 kilowatts. <laughs> 110 kilowatts. <laughs> I'll work it out later. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, on the test bed, uh, with carefully managed temperatures and things, I think we were getting more like 100, 160 plus horsepower. So the potential is, is certainly there to really move even further up the sort of core power torque segment that the, the C-Class vehicles currently are. I, I saw a, a very interesting stat just last week that uh, on average people who take a test drive in a, in a Focus normally 30% of them go on to buy one. Uh, with this engine the, the conversion rate is up to 60%, it's, it's literally mm -hmm. doubled. Uh, people are so impressed with it when they take it for a test drive that they actually uh, complete the transaction, which is probably the ultimate well, there's uh, no, exactly. proof of the, of the technology. Yeah. Now, one thing is.